also feel like they don't swatch very well. I like me some, sh I, sh 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 I like me some shimmer, even when I'm going down to Target. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I don't really know about a theme as far as favorites this week, but I did go out of town with Timothy last weekend, so I have some kind of like traveling-ish sort of favorites, and just some fun things that I was loving. So let's get into it. First off, I brought this palette with me. I originally got this through Octoly. This is the Givenchy Nudes Necres Shimmering Nudes Palette. I think this is so pretty. I know this has mixed reviews. It seems like people either love it or they hate it. And I personally love it. I think it's so pretty. I really like all the colors. Like right now I have, um, these two in my outer corner and then I have kind of like a mixture of these two on my lid but then I have something over it but really the shimmery shades I feel like are kind of like the stars of this palette and I also feel like they don't swatch very well but they look really pretty on the eyeballs so I don't know I really I guess people don't like this because these are chunky glitter and they do kind of get on your face. I mean, they really do, but I love me some glitter. So I don't really mind. I just think it's so pretty. This one right here doesn't swatch well, but man, if you use it with some MAC Fix Plus, it's so pretty and metallic. And I find that every time I wear this palette, I get compliments on my makeup. So I just think it's really pretty. Like there is um, one of the mattes. There's another matte. So it's just... I really like it. I think it's such a pretty palette. Love the packaging. It just feels fancy. So I wanted to bring it on our anniversary trip and just, you know, feel glamorous. And I also brought this adorable palette. I mean, it was too appropriate not to bring it. It says road trip. So it just is like, yes, take me on a trip with you. I'm the, the perfect trip palette. And it really, really is. You got a bronzer and a blush and then eyeshadows. These can be highlighters too. And that's exactly how I used it. I used pretty much all of these. Like I used them on my eyes. I used them on my face and they were great. Somebody is like sawing next door. So I don't know if you can hear the sawing, but Somebody's working on a project. So if you hear sawing, that's what's going on. Okay, let me try to show you some swatches. Oh, we got a knuckle swatch. We got a knuckle swatch in the situation. I think the standouts for me from this palette are the bronzer and the blush, but I also really like that kind of like shimmery shade, the weird knuckle swatch one. This one, really pretty on the lid, but also really pretty as a highlighter. It's just like a great everyday sort of a palette. So that's why I think they picked really great colors for a travel palette because you can really go with like a smoky eye or you can go with a really nice daytime eye. I mean, perfect blush that goes with everything. This was the only blush that I wore this week and it's beautiful. It's just a really pretty like neutrally rosy pink. The bronzer has like a little bit of warmth to it, but not too much. It's kind of more of that like ready bronzer which i really like because when i do have some color and i get a little bit of a tan i have kind of more of that like pinkier surprisingly i have cherokee indian in my bloodline on my mom's side so i kind of have that like reddish color when i do get some sun anyway okay so i like that it has that kind of like warmth i think it looks more natural um it's just a great palette and it's stinking adorable i mean this is so cute Adorable. I don't even know if I said what this is called, but I probably annotated it for y'all. But anyway, it is the Merle Norman Beautiful Journey Face and Eye Palette, and it's awesome. Okay, let's talk about some shimmery shadows. That's what I have on my lids. You know, when you're like going on a trip or it's your anniversary or just a special occasion, I like me some shimmer. I like me some, sh I, sh 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 I like me some shimmer, even when I'm going down to Target. Like, you know, it doesn't matter. I just like shimmer but especially on a special occasion. So these were the ones that I brought with me. These are both so pretty. So first off, this is, I also got this through Octoly originally. This is the Bodyography Glitter Pigment and this is in Stratus. So I have this kind of like on the inner parts of my lids. Um, so this is kind of more of like the lighter color that you're probably seeing. Again, this is like a chunkier glitter, but it is a 
amazing. It's so pretty, so glittery, and it's like really dimensional looking glitter. Like it really catches the light and has a lot going on. It's like pink and peach and champagne and amazing and I love it. Oh my gosh. I usually use it with Mac Fix Plus, but you don't have to. You can just like tap it on with your finger and it works fine, but it'll stick and behave a little better if you use like a glitter glue or Mac Fix Plus or something like that. So that was the first shimmery goodness that I wore. The other thing is one of the Stila ones. This is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in Smoldering Satin. Did I just talk about this recently? I can't remember. I could have talked about it last week and I've already forgotten, but that's okay. It's worth talking about it again because it's so pretty. It's right there. It's like a rose gold taupey sort of a color with silver micro shimmer. So, I mean, you gotta like some glitter to like this, but this is really good glitter because it doesn't move around. It's suspended in that liquid shadow. So it just really adheres, doesn't move everywhere. It's really long wearing and it just keeps that like beautiful glittery intensity. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. These have a lot of buzz around them and for good reason because they are absolutely incredible and such nice quality. And I think they totally live up to the hype. They're awesome. And then as far as lip colors this week, I really just wore two, mostly the one that I'm wearing right now that I'm about to mention to you, but I also did wear this one one day. This is so pretty. Both of the ones that I was loving this week are Ofra. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Santorini. This is such a pretty metallic, like berry, like a metallic berry. If you love Kat Von D's um, Miss Argentina, I think you'll really like this one. If you like that kind of metallic finish because it's almost Miss Argentina, but then a little bit of like a lighter pink shift to it. Oh, it is so pretty, beautiful, beautiful. Love the formula on these. They're just so comfortable. As far as liquid lipsticks go, they're just my favorites because they're like that happy balance where they're comfortable, but they're also really long wearing. These and the Bare Minerals Gen Nude are my favorites, um, but these stick a little bit better than the Gen Nudes. Those move around a little bit more, but those probably wear off a little bit better than these. So it's kind of like that happy balance, but they're awesome. They smell amazing. Oh my gosh. Like it's like vanilla, but almondy or something like it's just amazing. Like vanilla extract and a little bit of almond. Oh, it's so good. So love that shade. And then the one that I was wearing the most this week is this one. This is nude potion. This is like such a perfect nude. It's like a pinky nude. I do have it on with Tawny. So that kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. It will do that line a little bit, just I think cause it's a lighter color. So you might want to kind of like watch for the line, but I just absolutely love it. I mean, if you're looking for just a gorgeous pinky nudie shade, nude potion. Yes. And I don't know. I think there's just something so beautiful about like a, a glittery intense eye look and then a nude lip. It's just so youthful and still fresh looking, but also kind of like fancy and a little bit dramatic. So yeah, this was definitely a look that I was grabbing for like for anniversary dinner and stuff like that. So yeah, so beautiful nude potion. And then kind of a random, I have to mention this shirt. I would say this is a favorite this week too, because I have been loving this shirt. This is from Target. It also comes in a black gingham pattern, which I also ordered because I like this one so much. So it's this, this particular pattern is kind of like a, I don't know, like a guy shirt sort of a pattern, but then it has really cute little sleeves and it's soft. It's kind of cropped, but then it kind of like cinches at the waist. Don't mind my PJ pants, you know, professional on top, PJ pants on the bottom. That's the way the YouTubers do it. At least that's the way I do it. So anyway, okay, so it looks like this. It's like a striped shirt, buttons down, 
I just love it. I love that it looks a little bit guyish, but then a little bit girly too. And then with some fun accessories, it's just, I don't know, one of my new favorite shirts. So yeah, Target, good old Target. Love it. All right guys, those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.